Hey guys, I got another collective haul that I wanted to share with you. Um, first off, I will start with Michael's. Um, I did pick up um, this pretty um, Valentine's Day mug. I love to pick up the seasonal mugs um, every time the season change. Um, I just love mugs and it is so pretty. It's pink on the inside, red on the outside, and it has a gold handle super pretty um i don't believe that you can put this in the dishwasher because of the gold handle but i normally don't um, put it in the microwave or the dishwasher i just hand wash it and use it with my keurig and i also picked up a few um of the picks um and this haul was from a couple weeks ago um i got this um tiny treasures um swan and this was 80% off, I believe, when I got it, as well as this was 80% off. Regular $5, and this was regular $5.99. I did have a gift card, so I used the gift card on these items. I also picked up this. This is just treat bags, and it says Bake With Love. And this was regular $5 and 80% off. Um, I found some of these um, bulbs and I was happy to find these. I'm hoping to find a star that looks like this, but um, I want to take these and change out the bulbs in my pink um, ceramic Christmas tree that I picked up from Walmart. Um, this was $3.99 and 80% off. Um, the, the pink one that I have, it has a bunch of different color bulbs in it and it was pretty and all, but I like the iridescent clear white ones. Um, I'll change it out to that. And then, um, I picked up these, um, Valentine stamps. Um, I thought these were really cute and they can be used for things other than Valentine's. So they're regular $4.99. Um, I used two 50% off coupons and one 60% off coupon. Um, at the time that I purchased them. I really wanted this one because I wanted to use the little dinosaur for maybe a layout or something like that for my grandson. So I picked up that as well as um, the little truck. I thought the truck was cute and you can stamp it out in different colors and use it, not just for Valentine's Day. So I thought that was really cute. And the sending you loads of love, I thought that would be cute too to put on like an envelope or something like that to send out happy mail. Um, and then I also picked up um, this um, cookie cutter is just a Christmas tree shaped cookie cutter and I picked up this silicone mold and it has the um, nutcracker guys and I just realized that it's open right here I wanted to use this to pour resin inside um, so I have to figure out how to stop these little holes up because I think these are more so for like suckers or something like that um, I also picked up um, this resin or this mold and I'm going to use it for resin and it is the Christmas trees. So I am going to put this stuff away for next year and then hopefully get a chance to use the Valentine stuff on some layout and some different things. So that is what I picked up from Michaels. Another thing that I did get was um, another sewing machine. I know I have a million and one sewing machines, but um, I picked up a Singer sewing machine um, because I had a gift card and they allowed me to use the 60% off coupon for it, which was a great deal. So I do have a new sewing machine. I'm excited about that. Um, let's see. I picked sure if I showed you guys this or not. If not, I'll show it really quick again from um, Hobby Lobby. I picked up this flocked um, leopard print material that you're supposed to be able to cut out with your um, Cricut or Cameo. Um, this is by Design Loft and it is heat transfer. It was $4.99. It's in the wearable art section. It's not in the craft section. Um, of Hobby Lobby, but I used a 40% off coupon for this and it is 12 by 12 um, sheet of flocked um, iron on. So I'm going to use that hopefully for a project very soon. Um, sticking with Hobby Lobby, um, I did pick up this um, little camper and I thought this would be cute even for Valentine's Day. It doesn't necessarily have to be for Christmas, but it was 80% off. So I picked this up for $4. It says sweet shop on the top and it does, it's supposed to light up. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it's lighting up. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but 
it is lighting up inside of there so um i plan to um, put that in my valentine's day decor maybe at work i thought that was really cute and i do apologize if i shared this before i know i did a video but i'm not sure if i actually released the video or not um i did pick up this mug it was on clearance for 224 it says you're cute and all but i'm not sharing my coffee with you although i've been kind of curbing my coffee lately um drinking more tea and more hot lemon water lately but I love, love, love this cup. And whenever I can get cute mugs for the cheap, I go ahead and grab them. So I did pick that up from Hobby Lobby. Um, also from Hobby Lobby, I did pick up um, this mug. And it is a Christmas mug. I thought it was super cute. Um, and that is what it looks like. It just has that star on the front. And again, this is one that you can't use in the microwave. Um, but it was $7.99 and it was 80% off. So I went on and picked that up. I love the way that one looks. So I will put that up for next year because I have put all my Christmas mugs away. And then last but not least from Hobby Lobby, I did pick up this brown Santa. I thought he was super cute. And he was, um, again, 80% off. 80 or 90 I can't remember now but um he was cheap so I went on and picked him up I thought he was super cute even though I don't really um decorate with red but you know who knows I do have red um ornaments that I can use um kind of a bunch of different colors but past couple years I've been doing um more pinks and pastel colors golds and stuff like that so we will see where he will go um, he may end up being a gift or, you know, a, a, a gift topper or something like that. So those are the things that I picked up from um, Hobby Lobby. From the Dollar Tree, I picked up um, these little Valentine's Day socks. I thought these were super cute. And I like to grab these because i'll wear these when i'm working out or something like that but super cute or either on the weekend but i'm not sure if i'm going to keep these for myself or use them as little valentine's day goodies so i got that i also picked up this um glitter glue by crafter square and it is the the clear kind of iridescent glitter glue so i plan to use that um, I picked up some of these Clorox disinfectant wipes. Um, I like to use these here in the craft room for um, the, uh, what do you call that? You know, the, the machine that does this. <laughs> to clean up the paint because that paint is a little bit hard to clean up. So I use that for that. And then I got this also from the Dollar Tree. I plan to do a little DIY. I've been seeing a bunch of DIYs using this little heart, but I plan to do something a little bit different with it, hopefully. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully that will be coming very soon. So those are the things that I picked up from Dollar Tree. And then I'll share what I grabbed at um, Craft Fancy. So Craft Fancy is a um, craft store here in my area. It's actually out in Arlington Heights. So it's about an hour almost away from me, depending on traffic. Sometimes it's an hour, 15 minutes. But um, I went out there because I had a gift card and I wanted to use it. And so, and I also wanted to see if they had the new Maggie Home stuff. But um, the owner said to come back um, in a couple weeks, they should have it. But um, I did pick up the Art Glitter Glue. I've seen this used a bunch of times before, and I wanted to go ahead and try it out. So this is a medium-sized bottle. They had a smaller one in this and a larger one, but I picked up that one. Um, it's kind of pricey, so um, but I wanted to try it out. And I also bought the tips, um, the no-clog tip, um, to put on the bottle as well. So I did get that. And then I picked up some paper because um, my other reason for going out there was I wanted to see if I could find any um, boy paper to do like layouts and stuff like that. Um, I did find this really pretty vellum. This is blue vellum. Um, well, it's white vellum with blue raised dots on there. I thought that was super pretty. So um, I'm going to use that in some type of project. I also picked up this one by Authentique, and the reason why I picked it up is for this side right here. These are some gorgeous um, vintage looking cut-aparts, and this is Love Notes, 
and it says love notes eight two-sided paper and again it's by authentique and so the other side just looks like this so i just got it for the little different cut aparts super cute cut aparts um i also picked up this one by authentique and this one had these super cute cut aparts on that uh that side super cute very very pretty and this one is called love notes seven Authentic. Um, I also picked up this one and this one has cut aparts as well this is by Echo Park and it is Be My Valentine and the reason why I picked these up is because I um, could not find my Valentine stash and I believe I found it today when I went out to the garage um, because I, I, I was looking for a pink bucket I thought they were in a pink bucket but I think that they're in this clear bucket, but I have to actually go back out to the garage and pull the bucket down and look inside of it. It is clear, and I think I saw some Valentine's stuff inside of there, but I thought this was so cute. And it does have cut aparts on the back, but I bought it for the other side that I just shared with you guys. Super cute. And this paper is by Echo Park. And I don't know, I think it's called Teen Spirit, I think. But that's what I got that for. Um, this one is a really pretty pink stripe. This is Echo Park as well. And I just thought that these little hearts were super cute. So I just went on and picked this page up. And this is that same collection, Be My Valentine. Um, now, going back to baby, I did pick this up for my new grandbaby. And some of them are, you know, have a little pinks and reds in it, but it's okay. You are more than we ever expected and better than we ever imagined. I love that. So I thought that was really, really cute. And naps for days because he does sleep a lot right now through the day. This is how the back side of that looks. And this is my photo play. And it is called Love Beyond Measure. So that is that one. Then I got this one by Photo Play as well. There's not a lot of boy stuff out there, guys. So it's kind of hard to find boy stuff. Um, this one is Cuddle Time. And I thought that was really cute. And this is the back side of that one. And I picked up this one. And I thought this was really cute. And definitely we'll be using this for a layout super cute this is photo play hello baby and this is what the other side looks like and then i did pick this up this is a christmas um paper it's freezing season here is the branding strip right here and this was by simple stories and i just thought that this was so cute so I know Christmas is over, but I went on and picked that up because it was just too cute to pass up. As well as this one. I think this would make a really cute little layout. And this is a Snow Day Remix, Snow Boots Remix, and this is by Lawn Fawn. So cute. And this is what the back side looks like. I did get this acetate, and it just has... Um, baby carriages on it and this is by um Mambly Studios I'll show it to you Mambly Studios and screen prints hand screen hand silk screen and baby buggy so I did put that up and I got this one by photo play hanging around and that's what that one looks like. Little koala bears on there. Cute. Picked up this one. It just has a ray going on it. And this is um, Echo Park Let's Party. And it does have cut aparts on the back. I love papers with cut aparts because you can just cut these off and make a really quick card with them. And then I did pick up this paper. And I believe Joanne actually carries this as well. And this is basil paper. Um, this is foil marshmallow. And it has these hearts. And they're kind of, it's not really, I don't know if it's foil, but they're like debossed. And they have like this, I don't know, 
reflective property to them. Super cute. So I believe that is it of all of my hauls. Now I get to put all of these things away. As always, guys, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below and I'll get back with you as soon as I possibly can. Take care, guys. Bye.